Hi guys, just doing a quick video review on the Lee Bag Springfield Genuine Leather Wallet. As always, thank you to the supplier for kindly sending me a sample, and I've got no affiliation to the company itself. Um, so I'll show you what the product looks like. So that's the front. You can see it's got Lee Bags branded on the front. That's the back, and then that's the inside there. So I'll close it up first and give you some dimensions. So you've got uh, dimensions on this are nine and a half centimeters up that way, 11, 11.5 11 centimeters that way, and then when it's opened up, it's about 21, 21.5 centimeters that way. The corners are rounded, and all of the stitching is also glued in as well, which is a nice finish. So, with the corners being rounded, if you end up stuffing this full of loyalty cards, change, cash, whatever it might be. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to stick it in and out of your wallet, uh, in and out of your wallet, in and out of your back pockets, I should say. Um, it just means the corners don't catch. So let's open it up and show you what's inside. So you've got space for four wallet, uh, four cards on the front. When you flip this up, you've got space for a driving license, and then you've got space for a further four cards here as well. So that's eight cards in total. You've got a little pocket in there which is lined as well as the card slots are all lined as well and then you've also got a little pocket in there which is also lined and they're lined in this what is a car key canvas material and then this section is your coin section so it's got a little popper, you undo the popper and that opens up all the way. Now if you've got loads of change in there I can see this becoming quite problematic and you undo it in the popper me being a bit clumsy, not paying attention, this flips down and all of my change falling out. At the moment, the lever's quite stiff, so I can't foresee it being too much of a problem, but I think in the future, it might be a little bit problematic. The other thing is if you overstuff it, the popper is quite hard to get back on, and you can see I've just had loads of change roll out, so not great. If I just do that up. So here you've got your section for your notes you can see there's two sections here I've got a 20 pound note in the front and you can see that sits below the edge I've bought wallets in the past where they've been a bit too slim line 20 pound notes stuck out and then as I've been putting it in and out my back pocket 20 pound notes just torn or it's gone damaged you can see I've also for reference got a 50 pound note in there and that sits just below the edge so if you're feeling a bit flush you can load this up with all of your readies and it's going to be perfectly fine you still have crisp notes to the color itself this is the um, brown leather and it's what I would say is like a natural untreated finish so if I run my fingernail across it you can see it picks up that scuff so over time as you use this as you sort of use and abuse it stuff it with all of your bits and bobs it is going to pick up scratches scuffs the color from your denim jeans and that's i think that's a nice nice thing for me it's not so much of an issue it's going to pick up the character of sort of general day-to-day -day use and it's not going to look pristine i end up battering my wallets anyway so it's not so much of an issue other people might have an issue with it so they do do other colors now if i show you my everyday wallet this is probably about four or five times the price of this and if I give you an up close view of the actual stitching, you can see there's not much in it. This has actually got sharper corners, this has got rounder corners, um, but the stitching is perfect. I would say it's in comparison between this and this, stitching is the same. The nice thing on this as well, same as this actually, so same as a premium level wallet, all of the edges and the seams are glued as well as stitched, so you're not going to get little bits that sort of start to peel away and then as it gets used every day it's just going to wear wear away over time and then eventually it's going to split now if you give the wallet a good tug you can see there's no give in the stitching so this should last a while and for 24.98 i think at the time of reviewing you can't go wrong really with this product now to the uh, to the rating so for me where it loses half a mark is the coin wallet or the coin pocket if it was stitched so that it didn't come out all the way, perfect. I think that would be fine but because it opens up all the way. For me, I think over time, and as you saw, I lost a bit of change there as well as I was doing my review. It's going to end up sort of, I think, you're going to end up losing your change. The other reason it 
loses a mark is because of how it arrived. This is the packaging. So if you're giving this to someone as a gift, not great. First impressions count. I thought for even if it is 25 quid, Lee bags, you guys could have put this in a little type of box with a bit of tissue paper just to make it look that bit more presentable. And I think the way it arrives really lets down the product because it is a really good product. So for me, it loses another half star there. So overall, I'm going to give it a four out of five. That's the end of my review. Thanks for watching, guys.